Hello everyone, please, uh, please read the disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. This video for educational and informational purposes only. Welcome to Simple Trading Style channel. And today we are going to do uh, we're going to do daily stock market update. Looks like we had bullish day, and this Simple Trading Style works for stocks, ETFs. Uh, options or cryptos for any securities if you like it please click like button and subscribe for the channels telegram or discord community if you want to learn more about the simple reading style please go to the description there is the several links to uh, to all trainings and you will be able to to learn it okay now let's move to vbull to vbull i like to use vbull it's a green day, Nasdaq almost, almost uh, that, uh, almost 1%, 1.2 for S&P and 1.3 for the, uh, Dow Jones. Green day, uh, Nasdaq started like positive and moved negative and moved positive. It's uh, still very negative day for China. Okay, let's move to our let's move to our uh, updates. Market daily market review. Okay, let's start. Let's start from my setup. Yeah, about setup you can also find the link about the Vibull setup in the description. Okay, let's start from uh Vibull setup. White line is in MA200 purple line MA100, blue line MA50, yellow line MA20, red line MA10, and green line MA5. MACD indicator, green line it's a MACD, and red line it's a signal line. Okay, let's start daily for for DXY, DXY US dollar, US dollar, all moving averages uptrend, generally market uptrend, last bar close below 5, 10 and 20, it's a bearish signal with uptrend, MACD did confirmation several days ago about the bearish, bearish confirmation and it's a bearish signal bearish signal for all indicators for dollar on daily and it's a bullish for uh, indexes right we almost touched almost touch my 50 not fully yet okay still bearish no changes from friday let's move to four hours four hours for dxy four hours to dxy uh it's a bearish on MACD, RSI, also must let it change color to, to green. Remember it was kind of, it did touch, last week it did touch the MA200, and MA200 is a strong support like here, right? Remember like a few, uh, few months ago, like October 5, October 5, it did touch, it touched the MA200 and it bounced from it. May 200 very strong support. We let's see if this time it will 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 work as a support or or other changes. Looks like as a support for several for several several bars. It's still above MA 200, but still bearish signal. Bearish signal on on MACD. <coughs> okay let's move to one hour one hour on dollar one hour on dollar it's kind of you yeah, have kind of flat it's like bear flag and you drop down and side bear flag yeah on the all indicators it kind of it it it's building bullish divergences bullish divergent on the rsi right 
Well, there's divergent on the... On awesome oscillate on the oscillator and MACD. It's a, yeah, it's a green yeah bullish signal, bullish signal on one hour, but still a bearish trend because the last bar below all moving averages, below far above below fifty, one hundred and two hundred and twenty. It's still below. It's a bearish, still bearish trend with with short time bullish signal. Let's move to Apple. Apple daily. Apple daily. Green bar, green day, positive day. Average volume. MACD in the bullish. Bullish trend, bullish signal, RSI bullish signal, awesome oscillator bullish. All bullish, last bar between MA100, MA5 and 20. It's still bullish, bullish trend, bullish signal on daily. Let's move to 4 hours. 4 hours same, same, all indicators bullish. Bullish signal. The bar above all moving averages expect, except 200 and, and 100 looks like it yeah remember we have some small gap here but at the same level at, at, as a 200 ma 200 yeah remember we are below to ma 200 it, now it's a resistant when when the bar above ma 200 it's a support when it's a uh, uh, Above, it's a resistant. When it's below, it's a support. Okay, now it's a resistant. The bar can touch the MA200. It can and can bounce from it. Let's see how it will work. But so far, it's a it's a bullish trend. Bullish trend. The last bar far from MA20. From MA20. Remember, when it's far from MA20, it wants to go back to MA20. Okay. Bullish signal on, on 4 hours. Let's move to 1 hour. 1 hour bullish signal. All indicators in the, in the bullish signal. We cross the MA200. It, 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 yeah, it crossed the MA200. MA510 and did bullish crossover. MA20 at the MA. It's a bullish crossover. It's a bullish trend. Bullish trend for Apple on one hour bullish trend and bullish signal on all indicators with the gap below sounds good thank you let's move to queues let's move to queues on daily queues on daily green day we uh, we, we almost closed the huge gap it's still uh, uh, yeah it's like uh, yeah it's almost closed for it three cents yeah three cents is nothing yeah almost closed today we close we close the gap right because we have still few more above us but as the, the closest we close it we, we already closed today next one will be 302 307 that's kind of far from now but it's let's see yeah, let's do uh, daily, daily for cues, all indicators in the bullish, bullish signal. Is in the bullish signal the last bar above my two hundred. It's a bullish, bullish signal, bullish, uh, bullish trend. My two hundred still downtrend. Well, all, all indicators in the bullish trend on daily volume. It's about average it's strong volume that's good let's move to four hours four hours for cues green bar about um, all moving averages except 100 and, and 200 yeah it's yeah, like few cents it didn't close few cents gap <laughs> 
I don't know why Marky didn't close few cents. It should move quickly and just close it. But <laughs> that's what we have. Okay. Few cents for three hundred dollars stock. It's nothing. Uh, for three hundred dollars ETFs, it's nothing. Okay, and yeah, we have gap. It left the gap below. Now all indicators in in the bullish trend on four hours on daily. It's a bullish trend. On all indicators, we close the last bar close above May fifty. That's good. Good bullish trend. One hour. One hour. All indicators bullish. Bullish trend. No divergences. Is there? Yeah. The last bar closed above the all moving averages. All moving averages. MA5, MA10. Did bullish crossover over MA200. Bullish. Bullish signal on all indicators on all for uh for cues still huge gap below us four dollars gap three and a half dollars gap gap up oh yeah it will be close but <laughs> you didn't close immediately I was thinking it it it, it could close here. I don't know, market had everything to close it, to close that gap and move forward, but it didn't, it didn't close and it still moved up, okay, still bullish, bullish signal on one hour, two, uh, four hours and daily, cues in the bullish signal, let's move to VXN, VXN, bullish volatility index for, uh, for NASDAQ, Bearish trend, bearish trend on all indicators. Bullish for Qs. Four hours. Four hours. Bearish trend on all indicators. Bar is below, below 50 and, two, and 20. Bearish trend on all indicators for, uh, for VXN. One hour. One hour change, it's a bullish. And, and recently changed to bearish the last bar below all moving averages it's kind of yeah even it's kind of a little bit bullish but on the on the MACD but it's a bearish bearish signal bearish trend because it's below all moving averages bearish still bearish bearish on one hour bearish on all indicators on one hour four hours daily it's a bullish for Qs. Let's move to SPY. SPY daily. SPY daily. The bar about uh, MA5, 10 and 20. Bullish. Bullish. Kind of far from MA20. But it's bullish signal. Bullish signal all, on all indicators. It wants to go to close this gap. Between 401 and 406. Okay, daily bullish signal on all indicators. Remember 200 still downtrend, but bullish signal. Four hours. Bullish signal on all indicators. MACD, RSI, also oscillator. Bullish signal. Have gap above us and gap below us. Below current state. Close this gap. Huge gap was closed. Okay, uh, bullish signal. Bullish signal on 4 hours, far from May 20, but it's a bullish signal. 1 hour. 1 hour bullish signal on all indicators. Uh, bar about, about all moving averages. Far from May 20. Remember, when it's far from May 20, it always wants to come back to May 20. Far wants to come back. Let's see if something, if something, some trigger pushes to, to get back to MA20. But the bullish bullish sign, MA20 just did bullish crossover over MA200. That's the bullish bullish trend. Even if bar will come back to MA, 
I mean, twenty trend is bullish. Bullish signal. Bullish signal for a spy on all in all time frame and all indicators. VIX. VIX on daily. Volatility index for spy. Red bar. Red uh, bearish indicate uh, bearish bearish signal. Bearish signal on all indicators. Bearish signal and it's bullish for for spy. Four hours. Let's see four hours. Same bearish signal on all indicators. Bar last bar below even fifty MA fifty. Still above MA one hundred and two hundred. Bearish bearish signal. Bullish for uh, for spy. One hour. One hour short term. It's yeah. It's yeah. On MACD it was bullish. It was bullish, but recently it changed. It changed on RSI on awesome oscillator. MACD didn't change it, but it wants to change. Similar like the like Qs. On one hour it's it's it was bullish, but it changed to bear. It's 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 ready. You have the last bar below. Below all moving averages, it's a, it's a bearish and the May two hundred one just did bearish crossover, bearish crossover. It's a bearish trend, bearish signal for weeks on a, on all time frame. It's a bullish for spy. Dow. Dow daily. Dow daily, bullish bullish run. It, it left gap up. Left gap up 40 cents, but it's a bullish signal on all moving every on all indicators. It will close this gap maybe tomorrow because the last bar is very far from my 20, very far, right? It definitely will want to go back to my 50, my 50 to close the gap, maybe to my 5 to close the gap and, and move forward. Or it's still bullish, bullish signal on daily with just a recent gap and it wants to go out and close this gap above us and touch May 200. Bullish signal on daily for uh, for Dow. Four hours. Four hours bullish signal on all indicators, no changes, bullish signal. It 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 left gap today. And we have gap above, you see. Now it, it needs to close this gap and the and the gap above us, above the current state. It is at, at the four hours, it, the last bar it's it is at the MA two hundred. It's MA two hundred, it's a strong in this case, it's a strong resistant, strong resistant area, and let's see if it bounces from it or it will, it will continue to go bullish. Okay, let's move to a bullish signal on daily and four hours. Let's move to one hour. Let's move to one hour, one hour, one hour, uh, it's a bullish, it's a bullish, the last bar about all moving averages, bullish strong move, uh, about all moving averages, that's the, the bullish signal, yeah it, yeah, it has that small gap, small gap, MACD is still bullish, all, all indicators bullish on one hour, okay, Dow bullish on all, Time frames and all indicators. Let's move to VXD. VXD volatility index for Dow. And check on daily. On daily, it's bearish. Bearish, it's below MA200. Below MA20, sorry. Below MA20. All, all, indica all indicators in bearish state. 
bearish state. It's bullish for Dow. Four hours. Four hours bearish on all indicators. Bearish on all indicators. Bullish for Dow. One hour. It's interesting. Uh, last week they all, all yeah. Let's let's finalize it. The one hour, one hour. It's a bullish. One hour bullish. That's what we have, right? Uh, we have the all indexes like uh, green up, and uh, and volatility indexes also up. For uh, for Q's. Let's see, VX uh, was up, VIX was up for SPY, uh, not a lot, like half percent, but for, uh, but VIX uh, volatility also, yeah, for the Dow, they all green, they all should, I'm, they all should be red, but that's kind of, uh, yeah, mixed volatility, they should be, uh, should be green. That's why that's why only on the one hour, on one hour on the, on the MACD, it, it still wants it, it it's a bullish. On one hour it's a bullish, right? And it wants to change direction. But on one hour it's bullish on four hours and daily it's bearish. Similar for VIX on one hour, right? Similar for VIX on one hour and similar for VXN on one hour. Similar absolutely, yeah. But different for uh, for Russell 2000. Let's move to Russell 2000 and and do review for Russell 2000. Daily for Russell 2000 bullish bullish signal on all indicators. But the last bar close about oh, five ten and twenty bullish signal. Am I 200 still downtrend? Am I 100 still downtrend? Bullish signal on daily. Four hours. Four hours bullish signal on all indicators. The bar above all moving averages except fifty, except one hundred and two hundred. Bullish signal on four hours. Let's see one hour. One hour for Russell two thousand. Bullish signal all indicators and last bar close above MA two hundred. Bullish signal. Yeah, MA fifty and twenty wants to do bullish. Crossover over to MA two hundred bullish on one hour also. You see, and the, yeah, in this case it works uh, as ex as expected. Russell Russell two thousand bullish. RS, uh, RVX volatility index bearish. That's what we are expecting, but not not on on the spy. Yeah, not on the SPY, DAO, and Qs. All three indexes were uh, were green, and all volatility indexes for that uh, for it uh, was green too. Russell RVX worked as expected. Let's start on daily. On daily, it's a bearish, bearish below MA two hundred, bearish trend, bearish signal. Bullish for the AWM. Four hours. Bearish signal on all, all indicators. Bearish trend. All the bar below all moving averages. Yeah, here it could be resistant 29, 25. Yeah, this level. Bearish, bearish trend. Bearish trend. It's a bullish for our, uh, uh, for Russell 2000. One hour. Bearish trend on one hour, bearish trend on even, yeah, also, also later has a green bar, but yeah, it, it had before too, but didn't change. RSI movie, uh, all, uh, MACD didn't change direction. And last bar below all moving averages, kind of far from MA20, but still bearish. Bearish R RVX, bearish on all, all time frames. It's a, it's a bullish for uh, Russell 2000, okay? 
Sounds good. If you want to learn more about the simple trading style, just uh, go to the description and find the find the trainings and learn about it. And it works for stocks, ETFs, options, crypto, for any kind of securities. If you like this video, please click like button, subscribe for all my channels, YouTube, Telegram, and Discord. I do publish uh, some additional charts to Telegram and Discord channels. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.